Hey everyone, it's Saturday the 24th of February and it's just gone five past seven in the evening. Today's video, a diecast haul video. Yep, it's probably going to be quite a lengthy video because I've got a lot here to get through. Um, it's a mix of brand new stuff and some vintage stuff. Um, <clears throat> plus, I've actually got some brand new Matchbox. I know where to go to get Matchbox now. <laughs> Unfortunately, nowhere here in town. I've got to go up Norwich for that. But um, And some Siku, some brand new Siku. Siku? Siku? I still don't know how you pronounce that. All I know is it's German. Anyway. <clears throat> oh, and some brand new Majorette. So we've got Majorette, Hot Wheels, Siku and Matchbox. I'm going to start with the new stuff first because I can just sort of drop that on the floor out of the way for the time being. So, as majorettes are closer, move the camera a bit, we have got a class Zarian 5000 tractor, a bit like their ver version of the JCB fast track, but I do like that style of tractor. How do you have to say that? This um, class actually looks quite nice. I think I actually like the look of this over the JCB first trip. Don't tell JCB. <laughs> Let me move that plate out of the way. There we go. Um, I've actually got one, maybe one or two here that I've I already had and I just forgot. So we have got Ford Mustang. The uh, 1968 Fastback. In fact, it's probably my favourite out of all the Mustangs. We have got, what's this one, the GMC Hummer EV. I didn't realise that was an e the EV version. I didn't even know that was a Hummer, to be honest. Did GMC actually do? I don't know. That's got an opening hood. And we have got, uh, it just says street cars on it, I don't know. And weirdly, when I scanned these at the self service checkout, these short card ones wouldn't recognise. It's coming up, coming up as unrecognised, but they're the same price. So all a member of staff did was just grab one of these long card ones and scan that. So, I'm, yeah, I'm pretty certain I've got this one loose somewhere. I think I took it through there. The Ford F-150 Raptor. Yeah, actually, I know I have. So I'm going to stick that on eBay as is. So I'm going to put that over on the sofa. Um, yeah, I've already got that one as well. <laughs> so that's two for eBay. It's the uh, Toyota GT86. Oh, sorry, smudge. What's next? Story cars. It looks... Yeah, it's a Jeep. Jeep Wrangler, I think. In a very nice dark purple colour. Just one of my favourite colours. You might not want to sit there, smudge. <laughs> Jaguar E-Type Convertible, and I have to say, out of die-cast of this scale, I think this is probably my favourite looking one. Hang on a minute, I'm just going mm, to... It hasn't it's made a little bit of difference, I'm just thinking of the uh, light reflecting off this plastic, that's why I've just turned them ones off. I don't think it's them ones causing it, I think it's that one up there and I can't really turn that one off because it will plunge me into total darkness. Right, anyway. Toyota 2000 GT. I actually have no idea why I'm chucking those ones over there. Oh well. Uh, next one. I'm sure I am missing one. A yellow Mustang. 
Although I can't remember if that was Majorette or one of the other brands. Anyway, the Renault Alpine A110. If you can hear all that in the background, that is Snowy digging away to China in her cat trap. <laughs> and lastly, for Majorette, the Renault. What was it? Renault 12? Yeah, Renault 12. I love oddball cars like this. Out of the lot, that's probably my favourite one because it is the oddest one. So, that's the Majorette. Uh, we'll do Hot Wheels next because I've got two five car gift packs. So we have the Nissan 5-pack. I might actually turn these lights back on because you can barely see them. There we go. It's a lovely little 5-pack. Uh, and the other one was the Hot Wheels Remote Adventures, which is just basically an SUV 4x4 type pack. quite a lot of singles here as well. So we have the 2018 Camaro S SS the Fiat 500E These will all be opened at some point. The 70 Plymouth Barracuda, so a 1970 Barracuda. And the Ford GT40. Perhaps I should hold them like this so I don't block my own view and block, you know, being able to see what I'm doing. Uh, Volkswagen T2 pickup. Bit of a custom one there. Looks nice though. This one is one that will not be opened. But I am on the lookout for another one. That's the green Ford Escort RS2000. I don't think it gives to you, no. It's a Mark II Ford Escort though. My favourite out of the Escort. I'll just knock the matchbox on the floor. I've got two Proton Sagas, one to go up on the shelf in the bedroom, it'll be uh, pinned up there and the other one's going to be opened. Uh, <coughs> got a um, fantasy car here, the Limited Grip drift truck. This one, just because it's based on, I was going to say a TV show, cartoon, call it what you will, Monster High Ghoul Mobile. It's like a cartoon for girls. Well, I suppose boys could watch it as well if they want. I ain't going to judge. Uh, next up, the Volvo XC40 Recharge. Honda CB750 Cafe Racer. Is that how do you pronounce CAF or CAFE? I would have thought CAFE because it's got the little accent over the E. Alright, we've got another fantasy car. You see, I don't buy many fantasy cars, but I do buy them if I actually like them. Other than that, I just ignore them. So this is the Custom Otto, which reminds me of like a custom fancy muscle car I wish I'd actually do one of these just as a normal truck it's the Mazda Autozam and there's a little Mazda truck on a a very high lift package <laughs> like a mini monster truck alright we have got the uh, a Mighty K truck We've got a few of these and different colour variations and liveries and whatnot. not 
the Nissan Skyline R5, I think, it's either an R5 or an RS, um, KDR30. Two more for Hot Wheels. We've got a 2015 Dodge Charger, um, the SRT, and this is the Hot Wheels Airlines cars. I'm assuming it's meant to be a taxi or something. A little taxi to run you around the airport. And a 1956 Corvette. Now, apparently this one is the Hot Wheels screen time. And it's Barbie. I've never seen any of the Barbie movies, so... I have no idea, but I'm assuming it's from one of the movies. So there's the Hot Wheels. I've dropped the Matchbox on the floor, let me just grab that. So I think I'm going to do Matchbox next. A 1986 Ford F-150. It's a bit light for my eyes to read. A 1976 Volkswagen Golf GTI Mark One. It's not the first time Matchbox have uh, done a model of this particular car. This one's a whole new um, casting though compared to the old one. I would have compared them together but I haven't got the um, old one at hand. At the what have we got here? It's a 2014 Ford Interceptor Utility police vehicle. I might try and get to Tesco's at least once a month. 1949 Curtis Sports Car. I believe that says Curtis. Well, I like Matchbox because they do the normal cars if you like and this is just normal Ford police interceptor it's what Ford uh, came out with when they did away with the Crown Vic it's a shame they did away with the Crown Vic because I really did like that car what's this one I might actually have to concede defeat and go and get... <coughs> it might be a bit dirty if I can't even find them. Oops. Oh, I can't find them as I can. Let's see if these will help any. They do actually. <laughs> 1980 AMC Eagle. I am actually meant to. I need new glasses though. I need a serious eye checkup. I've missed the last two though, and it's my own fault. Renault Kangoo. Goodyear van. Matchbox do a lovely mix of just your everyday cars. Now, it's a pity I couldn't find another one of these because I would have loved to have kept one in the box. The Morris Minor Saloon. The Morris 1000, as they used to call them. Yeah, I'm not keen on the uh, wheel style for it, but it doesn't look too bad. Matchbox Fire Dasher. So I'm assuming that is just like a Matchbox version of a Hot Wheels Fantasy, you know. I also got two. Did I not turn the monitor back on? Oh well. Two um, gift sets, but I realised once I got home that I'd have already bought this set. I bought this one when Sainsbury's was stocking these five car sets. And I don't understand it, because these matchboxes were walking off the shelves. They were selling them like hotcakes. And then they stopped it for some reason. They just haven't stocked them for the last year. So, I don't know, I might stick that on eBay or something. But I haven't got this one, this is the Matchbox Wagons. I don't think I have anyway, looking at it now, I might. 
<laughs> Might have made a mistake there as well. Right, the Siku vehicles. These actually came out of Lidl's. Didn't even know Lidl's had them in until I went in there. I think it was a couple of weeks ago now, so I've had them sitting here for a while. It does actually say what they are on the uh, packets, though. Just Siku Super and the website www.siku.de. Anyway, we've got a tractor and trailer, and I think that is a class tractor as well. Was it class? I don't know how you pronounce it. I've got any farmers on my. Um, subscribe to me. If there is, please let me know um, how that is actually pronounced. Just out of interest. Uh, and I couldn't resist it. I love how detailed these uh, Siku models are. Though. There's a fair bit of weight in that as well. That is actually quite heavy. That big RV. <clears throat> Don't see RVs quite this big in the UK that often. Having said that, I know where there is one. <laughs> uh, well, I know this is a Volvo. It's got the Volvo badge on it. Now, I don't know what they would call this type of truck in other countries, but in the UK, we would just simply call it a roll-on, roll-off. And that would be a roll-on, roll-off skip on the back. That's why I uh, got that one. Uh, I'm pretty certain this is a Scania. It's got a rocket or something on the back. And the last one, because I literally just got one of each, is the uh, big old crane. And yes, these will be opened up eventually. I just want to get this video done out of the way, but I've been um, preoccupied with computers. As you've probably guessed from the number of videos I've just put up involving computers, and it's, well, when they arrive, there will be another one. Why are you trying to <coughs> pull my toy cars across the floor? Oh, you found a crumb or something, that's what you're trying to get. Right. So that is all the new stuff. What I've got next is a box that I got off the diecast guy probably two weeks ago now. Uh, well, actually, there's a couple here that I got in a charity shop. I can't remember what the other one was. But there's one, <coughs> a matchbox crane. And what I want to do, because these are in a cardboard box which is falling to bits. As I show them to you, I'm going to put them in here. This is why I want the desk cleared. Or the main reason I want the desk cleared, anyway. Um, yes, yeah, a nice crane. I got that in a local charity shop. Actually, the same place I got my big ass Lego Technic crane from. Which I think I did show on this channel. I can't remember. But uh, I'm not kidding. It's a very big crane. All motorised, lighting kit, and it cost me 40 quid. And if I want to buy that on eBay, or even on Facebook Marketplace or something like that, you're looking at about 150 quid. So, bargain! I can't remember, I bought another vehicle. Oh, I remember what it was. If I find it in here, I'll tell you, but it was a corgi truck. So we've got Matchbox Super King's dumper, and I love this feature on it. I'm sure I've got a similar one to this. Maybe in different colours, but I don't know if it does this. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> you just click on the little fuel tank on the side there and you can um, raise and lower the body. I'm just trying to see if there's a copyright date. Um, unfortunately, it has got bent wheels. But I still love it just for that, you know. All these years later, I mean, this is a 1970s model. All these, you know, all these years later, 50 odd years later, and it still functions as it should. Which I think is pretty awesome. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with that, but I have got two of the, another two of these. I've got almost mint one on the display shelf in the bedroom. 
and two like this which are more or less scrap. In fact this one's actually better than my other scrap one. Not by much though. <laughs> uh, Corgi Toys Whiz Wheels GR Beach Buggy. I just realised I didn't want to put the big cars in here just yet, did I? Because I have got a box in the bedroom for the matchboxes, so I just can't actually get to it at the moment. And I believe, yeah it is, that's a matchbox boat trailer, and I've got another one. don't think I've got the boat for it, but I have got another one. This one's all broken anyway, so I don't really see the point in keeping that. Right, so I've got a Majorette here, Toyota High Ace, I've actually got the white version of this as well, and they're both in roughly the same condition, I thought this was mint at first till I saw all that on the back, I'm not sure what it is. Um, there is a paint chip up there, but I think the rest of it is just white paint or something. Oh, I just found something else that's not part of this box but I'll show you it anyway. This little Hot Wheels car. In fact there's two of them because I've got another uh, Dodge Charger SRT and a Hot Wheels uh, Pursuit one. Which I think I actually like the look of this one better than the um, airport taxi. I've got another Corgi and I th I'm pretty certain this is better than the one I've got on my Corgi shelf in the bedroom, little Land Rover tow truck, 24 hour service and whatnot, crash service. Because I don't think my other one's got the stickers. I could be wrong, I haven't checked yet. And we've got a Majorette Mercedes fire truck, the uh, foam water cannon thing on the back. And I have seen one where you can get stickers on the side. This one hasn't got them. I don't know if it's meant to have them, but that one hasn't got them. And another one of these major at Mercedes refuse trucks. The difference is this one's still got the stickers on. My other one, <laughs> the stickers have fell off. Well, I say fell off, they probably got peeled off. We all know what kids are like. I mean, we were kids at one point. No doubt we did the same thing with our toy cars. I know I used to. Uh got a Rollomatics Range Rover here from Matchbox but I know they're not the original stickers them rescue ones if you actually look closely at that side you can see where the original stripe was and then we've got a Corgi Range Rover here Corgi Juniors in orange I'd love to know what that was in orange I've got the red one it's got those stickers on, but I'm assuming that was the fire service one. Then I've got the white one, which was the police one. What was this one? In orange. <laughs> no idea. There's something stuck on the sides. But other than that, I have no idea. And it's a shame that this Matchbox Ambulance is missing the stickers, because other than that, it's in bloody good condition. And it's got its rear doors. I have got quite a few of these in the collection and very few of them, in fact I could count them on one hand, have both rear doors and even less are in, have uh, paintwork that's as nice as that. I might be able to find some replacement decals to put on it if I look on eBay. Um, two of these which are just sort of like generic Chinese cars, I think they're meant to be Jaguars. And we've got one in like the old Metropolitan Police livery, London Police, and I think I've got this already somewhere in the collection. It'll be in my box where I chuck all the um, other stuff, what I call the uh, non-branded stuff, generic stuff. So I've got boxes for Matchbox, boxes for Hot Wheels, boxes for Majorette, a box for Maisto. Basically a box for all what I would consider the brands and then everything else gets chucked in another box. Boxes, I should say. Speaking of Majorette, I think this is a Majorette. 
Yep, a little uh, front loader with a metal loader on it, not plastic. I think you might get a bit wet during winter though if you had to use this. <laughs> no cab. Uh, I think there's a few little F1 cars like this. That's got HSBC written on it. Now my uh, youngest brother is actually in his F1 and whatnot. And a lucky buggy, he actually got a Lego Technic F1 car for Christmas. You reckon it took him 10 hours to build it? <laughs> a little Corgi Mercedes Bins Ambulance. I wonder what Bins Ambulance is. Again, someone's peeled the stickers. I'm guessing he's belonged to the same kid at some point. Because all the stickers are peeled off. Uh, a Matchbox Mercedes convertible. It looks like they've actually gone over that with Tipex or something, or a very crappy paint. But as usual, it's another one of these Mercedes that I've picked up. No windshield. I think I've got one out of like a half a dozen. And they did these in yellow and white. So I've got like... I can't remember if this is my second or my third yellow one. I've got probably a few more in white. Like four, maybe five in white. I believe it's only one of my yellow ones that I've got the windshield. I think that's a Zodiac, if I remember rightly. Be a sweet little model for restoration. A little husky. I think that one could end up <coughs> on eBay because I've got a few of these now. <coughs> Surprisingly though, it's got the rear piece. These are always missing. Or at least most of the ones I've come across, that bit is missing. This one will probably go in with a job lot of matchbox as well because I've got it. So in fact, I'm going to throw that over there. We've got a few Ertl models in here as well. Pardon me, and here's the first one with the Batmobile, which is actually better than the other one I've got. The other one, the paintwork is really rough on it. This is a lovely little majorette. Is it a Morgan? Yep. A little Morgan. I think I might have another one. But it's missing the roof and possibly the windscreen. Because again, it's only a bit of plastic that just clips on the top, so they're easily broken off, unfortunately. Which is why they're rare to come across with the roof still attached. Um, no, he did tell me that there was some like, generic made in Hong Kong models here, and I've got three of them. I can't remember if it was just these three. No, it's not. So the worst one out of the four front loader because it's missing all the tires, it's missing its loader. I think it works still in good condition though. And if I ever made like a little diorama or something that would make a nice little weathered scrap vehicle wouldn't it? We then got this uh, tracked front loader, it's missing its bucket though. Well I'm assuming it's a front loader because it looks hinged. In fact it's meant to be hinged on that. So it's a shame that's missing but it's still got its tracks. Which is a bonus. To me at least. And we've got this grader which actually looks complete and the blade does rotate. I just realised that was actually facing backwards. I've got one more here which is also in rough shape because it's a dumper truck that's missing the dumper so it's just a truck. <laughs> I want to say that's a Euclid or something looking at that cab. I'm not an expert on dump trucks or anything. There is nothing else written on these, so not even found where it says Hong Kong. Now we've got a, just a cheap plastic toy. That one I might actually just put with my charity donations, actually. Uh, we've got this Ertl International tractor. The uh, wobbly front wheels. And they actually did do this on real tractors, you know, so they could keep the tractor level and whatnot, so it went with the uh, 
slope of the ground. That is actually in pretty good condition. Well, I can't help but think, and I think it's just the way the um, this hood bit slopes down, but it makes it look a bit bent. I don't know though, that cab does look like it's tilted backwards a little bit. This looks a bit odd to me. So, nice little tractor. Uh, another majorette here, we've got the Renault Alpine. A different version of the Alpine. Another uh, race car from Matchbox. Now I know some of these actually came with a transporter or something, but I can't remember what ones did and what ones didn't. Uh, that is meant to have the hood, but it broke off. I was really pissed. <laughs> I don't know if I broke it or if it was already broken and it was just being hidden. I knew it opened up and I opened it and it flipped up fine so I put it back down didn't notice anything. It wasn't until I went back to this box a little while later and noticed that the hood had fallen off. So anyway, I've got the Ford Capri. What I might do is actually just super glue it in place. Otherwise, otherwise I'm going to lose it. Now this one I'm definitely going to keep because I think this is a later Husky but look at that. I know Corgi, when Husky became Corgi, they did another release of this. The, I think it's meant to be a police car, there's the black bonnet. Because so I have got the Corgi version, which has got the black bonnet and whatnot, but... Got the beacon missing, in fact, I know where the beacon is. It's inside it. <laughs> I can hear it, and I've actually seen it rattling around in there as well. Here's another one, I'm not really fussed about this one because I've got it. Don't even know what it is. Well, that bounced well. It's gone straight between both sofas. Um, same with this one, actually. I've got a few of these. In fact, I'm pretty certain I've got one in my box of Matchbox to go on eBay already. I'm going to keep hold of that one for the time being. I may put it up in the future. Here's another Husky. There's three Huskies then. Well this is actually a nice Jaguar apart from I think a tree fell on it looking at the roof. <laughs> I've got several different Husky Jaguars. I've got some with the plastic base as well as this metal one. And they're all in bad shape basically. Each and every one of them. Which is a little bit annoying. Uh, here's another one I'm not that fussed about because I've actually got one with the little skip that goes on the back. <clears throat> so that's another one I'm going to put in a job lock to go on eBay. Uh, this is in nice condition, if not almost mint. Not quite. I would describe it as near mint because there is literally just a couple of very tiny paint chips on two corners. Yeah. Two of the bumper corners, that is it. <coughs> yes, I'm still being plagued by this cough. Although it's not too bad tonight. It's not been too bad um, all day, actually. Shut up. Speaking of my little brother, that's who's messaging me on Facebook at the minute. He wants me to take some photos of some uh, PlayStation games and whatnot so we can see what's there. These are a pain in my backside. I've just got rid of like three or four of these in like ten different job lots of Corgi that I had on eBay. <laughs> I've got another one. A very common casting apparently. I seem to have a few of these and they're all in roughly the same condition as well. I don't know what it is. I can't remember. I can't read that. That's all a bit of this. Not clear enough. Lady Penelope's Rolls Royce from Matchbox. Now I can't remember if I've got another two of these in the collection or just another one. What I do know is if I assume I've just got another one, this one's in way better condition. 
I can remember my other ones are a little bit on the rough side, unfortunately. Um, oh, we've got another little vehicle here. Another TV collectible. Noddy! Little man in a red and yellow car. Can't believe I can remember that bit. <laughs> uh, nice corgi dump truck, actually. I know I've got another one, but this is in way better condition. And of course, another Matchbox tractor. I've got several of these blue tractors now. And this is a, another casting. Spent, well, this is a Matchbox casting, but it's quite common for them. The old uh, combine. I know they did two different combines. And they both seem to be as common as each other. That's a Hot Wheels motorbike, that's not actually part of this box. <laughs> I just forgot about it. Don't know what it is. Uh, oh, 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 oh. There's the hood for that Capri. And now I've got some glue somewhere. Yeah, it's on that shelf. And one of these fancy 1970s matchbox cars. We are missing whatever was there. Now it looks like the engine is in the rear, so did it have an engine front and rear, or was there something else in the front? I don't know. A bit of broken plastic. And a majorette dump truck in very nice condition. I do believe I have got another one of these, but this is pretty much mint in comparison, so... Probably now got another scratch on it because I've just tossed it into the box. I think of this scale, this one's the last one, it's a little corgi Porsche police car. I think the one I've got on the shelf has got a red stripe either side of it. I don't, I'm going to have to double check that. Right, now we've just got the larger scale stuff. Now I know my little brother loves the F1 cars, so I am tempted to post that one to him as a little surprise. Fiat. I sort of do and I don't. I don't because it's a Corgi and I do like my Corgis, but I know he likes his F1 cars, so... <laughs> There's another Corgi. Odd thing, isn't it? I know they did a few various vehicles that looked like this. I think these were aimed at the really young kids, weren't they? When they were designed like that, if memory serves correctly. Um, I don't know what I will do with this one because it is quite rough. There's a big old ambulance. I was going to do something custom with it, like turning into a custom camper or something. Which would be difficult, you know, just take all the ambulance signs off and repaint it and voila. <laughs> Bob's your uncle. Um, this was one thing that caught my eye when I got shown the photos. Don't know if that's the actual tractor unit that's meant to be with it, but the winch has got string as well. And it does this. Just like proper low, um, low loaders in real life, you see that bit detaches. That's what they would do on a real low boy, then that would drive away. They'd put the machinery or whatever on there. This bit would back up. It's all hydraulically operated. It would all have big pins to lock it in place. I just thought that was quite fascinating. Oh, I'm telling Porky's. Double decker bus for the collection. <laughs> I have no idea how many I've got in that box now. I just know it's quite a few. Um, oh, we have got some matchbox... I can't remember what they called them, the Plane Series. Got a little Cessna there. Missing its propeller, unfortunately. And I've got two of these, and I actually think this makes up three. I'm pretty certain I've already got one of these. I can't remember if my one's got the canopy or not. So that one hasn't. 
I'm going to go in with the job lot. I'll keep that one for now until I've double checked what's in the box. And I believe I've got this one as well. Yeah, winch isn't very good on it. That one could end up on eBay with, um, you know, in a job lot of stuff. I then got another one of these. I had one. And then I found a better one. Which meant I had two for a little while. I then sold the worst one on eBay in a job lot of Matchbox uh, Super Kings. And now I've got this one. Which I'm not actually sure, but I think this one's in way better condition. Again, I've got to get the box of uh, Matchbox Super Kings out to check. That one I'm going to put in just a job lot of Matchbox Super Kings as sort of spares, repairs, resto projects. Because I've got one way better than this over there. I'm pretty certain they're the same car anyway. Can't quite see for me. Oh, I wish people would bugger off while I'm filming. <laughs> right, I've got two of these. And the other one of this is in exactly the same condition actually, so. And then we've got this tank, which I'm a bit miffed at because paintwork, not bad. It's got both tracks. The problem is, it's missing the gun. So I wonder if I should actually, tr I don't know, look on eBay or somewhere and see if I can find one of these which is missing its tracks or something and try and make a good one out of the two. That sounds like a good idea to me. This one's broken and I'm not too fussed about that. I don't even know why I put it back in the box, to be honest. We've got the uh, racing car transporter, I think. I think that's what one of those racing cars actually came with. Missing the plastic canopy over there, but I still use it as an open top transporter. I think that is a different colour to my other one. I think my other one's a different shade of green. I'm pretty certain it is, because I know they did them in a couple of different colours. What we got here, a little uh, Alfa Romeo. I think it's Motor Max. We're getting there, guys. We are getting there. I've only got a few more in here. I wouldn't mind trying to find uh, another hook for this. The pin for it is still in there. <laughs> the pin is there. But the hook is missing. But the rest of it is not in bad shape apart from that, so... I don't know, maybe I can find another one on eBay, as, you know... Which perhaps has got a hook missing that I could pinch from it. Uh, this one I'm probably going to stick on eBay in a spares repairs job lock, because... It's not meant to be silver, it's meant to be like a little fire... Chief fire car thing, but all of that's been pulled off. Someone's done like a custom hot rod job. Yeah. I could keep it and do a little custom work with it, you know. Because it's not going to be difficult to take this apart. And really all it would need is a nice paint job, so yeah, I might just keep it. Another car transport, car recovery. Triple horns on the roof. See, I'd love to know what vehicle came with that as well. The second caravan I've got like this, but I think this one's uh, been subjected to some vandalism. There's a door missing. Front and rear windows have been smashed and a couple of side windows have got cracks in. <laughs> Should weather it up and make a diorama with it. We've got another one of these uh, cement trucks. But I do like keeping hold of them, if anything, just for the tyres, because you guarantee you'll come across another model that you want for your collection that has no tyres. <clears throat> now then there's this weird race car. I think it's missing a couple of bits from it, but I don't really like it. I don't really know what to do with that. There we go, I've got an empty box now. 
Oh, pardon me. I'm going to put that one down there. The thing is, if I glue this in, I can't see what this hood would actually uh, go up against. Because I'm not fussed if it opens or not, I just want the hood to stay there. Like I said, I saw it open, I only went like that. That's what I did, and it was fine. Then I just let it drop. You see, it actually works fine like that. So I had no idea it was broken until I found it missing. Right, that is the die-cast haul. Until the next one. <laughs> <sighs> I need to give these glasses a good clean, but they are actually helping. I've not been wearing glasses for ages, simply because the pair I was wearing broke. And I couldn't find the spare pair, because when I got that, you know, it's like buy one and get one free kind of offer at Specsavers. Or it was half price or something like that. Can't remember now. It was like two or three years ago. But yeah, I need to rebook my Specsavers appointment. What happened was, I forgot what time it was. And I was expecting, you know, like they usually do, is give you a text message as a reminder, and they never did. I didn't realise, however, they dropped me a reminder in my bloody email, which told me the time. By that time, you know, by the time I found that, it was too late. So yeah, I'm going to have to rebook it. That's a little bit better. I just say a little bit better, that's way better. Right, so thanks a lot for watching everyone, I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, then give it a thumbs down. Um, also, if you want to see more random videos like this, you know, I've got lots of interests. Diecast. I was going to say Lego, but I've got a separate channel for that. Um, the computers, which you've already seen like two or three videos of. Um, the barricade lamps, I don't know why I had to stop and think about that. I think my mind just went blank for a few seconds. <laughs> the gears stopped grinding. Um, yeah, just lots of other stuff, really. Yeah, um, subscribe. That is what I'm basically trying to say. Please subscribe. It helps me grow, or helps the channel grow, helps me out, and it helps you follow me. You know, <laughs> I really suck at this outro, don't I? I've really messed it up. Should we? St I'm going to start again. <laughs> so, <laughs> if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. I'm, actually, I'm going to cut that last bit out. So. <clears throat> Here we go. So, that is it for the video. So, uh, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, feel free to give it a thumbs down. Um, also, please subscribe to the channel. It helps me out, it helps the channel grow, and it helps you follow the channel and follow my videos and whatnot. And it's totally free. It doesn't cost you a penny. Despite it being called a subscription, it, it doesn't cost a penny. Um, also, if you check out the video description down below, there will be links to my other two YouTube channels. I've got a gaming channel, so if you like gaming, feel free to follow me there. And I've got a channel for uh, all my LEGO stuff, so feel free to follow that one as well if you're interested to. I'm interested in LEGO. Um, I've also got a link or I should say there will also be a link to um, my Discord server, which is just about see a bit of it there. Um, and my Twitch channel, so feel free to check those out as well. Anyway, well, thanks a lot for watching, I will see you in the next video. Bye!